Well, good morning, guys. It is early morning here, and I'm getting ready for my work day. I've got Totoro here. And in today's video, as you can tell from the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to be reviewing the MediHeal masks that I've been trying out and loving um, with these cute little animal faces on them. But before I get into the review, let me just tell you about the tea that I whipped up this morning because I have to share it with you. And uh, I really thought Totoro was going to shine bright in this video today with all the little animal themes. But anyways, so this morning <clears throat> I am drinking the Black Cherry Berry um, by Celestial Seasonings. This has hibiscus, rose hips, roasted chicory, blackberry leaves, hawthorn, natural black cherry, um, and chamomile and uh, sweet cherries. It is a herbal tea, caffeine free and gluten-free. And I got this on Vitacost. Um, and I also um, think you can get it in you know your local grocery store, but I really like this. And then to spice things up and to kind of make this, I don't know, maybe sort of zen, I went ahead and added um, a half a teaspoon of my Makuna Purians that I got from Moon Juice. This is the um, natural source of L-Dopa. And I do really find that this does kind of, I mean, I'm sure it's all placebo and anecdotal, um, but this does seem to um, just kind of uh, get me to a state where I'm calm and focused. I sprinkled in a little bit of the pearl powder. This is um, high in mineral content and that too is supposedly um, helpful for imparting, imparting a brightening effect. All right, so getting into the mask review, I try, I've been trying out um, four different Medi Heal mask. I just have all of them here. I've done each of these masks, which I'll talk about, a total of seven times. Um, so I feel as though I've really um, tried them out pretty substantially. They have a, uh, you know, a few different types targeting different skin concerns, and I'll get into those. But um, overall, uh, the masks are very, very moisturizing and um, they're very, very hydrating, and they're really fun to do. They're not irritating. They don't have a high alcohol or fragrance content that burns around the eyes. They're easy to apply. The way that I put these on to my face, I put them on um, as soon as I get out of the shower while I'm still physically in the shower. You guys know that's when I put my body moisturizer on before I step out to seal in the moisture. Likewise, when I do a, a sheet mask like this, I uh, put the mask on in the shower. Um, and I just find that it's more efficient and it just really locks in all the moisture on here. You know, I, I believe in some of the Korean cosmetic um, kind of, uh, you know, thinking that you're supposed to to put on all of these essences and things like that but I say skip all of that stuff um, you know I don't do any of that toner or what have you I've just been enjoying the masks um, I did them a total each one a total of seven times two nights a week for um, you know a few weeks each um, and I really li like I said I really liked all of them my skin type I would say is um, sort of combination with dry patches. I also have acne prone skin, um, which is, and my acne is well controlled with uh, topical, uh, with a salicylic acid face wash and Differin. This is a, a Korean um, brand. Um, and I, I guess they are affiliated, or at least at one time were affiliated with this cosmetic uh, dermatology clinic in Korea. Um, and so that's kind of cool. And they say on the website that they test all of the ingredients and all of the masks uh, to make sure they're not allergenic and that they're well tolerated. I don't know how they do that. They're, they're not uh, particularly transparent with that. Um, but uh, it seems like they, they um, you know, claim that they do a lot of testing on these. Kind of like the dermatologist tested claim though that you see here in the States. Um, take it with a grain of salt. I don't know entirely what that means, but Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. You have to try it. I don't think you need all the magic dusts, but this tea is really good. <clears throat> I sweetened it with a little uh, stevia. All right, so first up is the Natural Moisturizing Factor Mask. Um, this mask I really enjoyed because 
It contains aloe, which is very soothing. You know, if you've ever had a sunburn, you know that aloe just feels really good. And aloe contains, is a plant that contains a variety of um, natural ingredients that are in fact um, anti-inflammatory and can kind of help with healing, honestly. So I like that this has aloe in it. It tends to be an ingredient that is really well tolerated. People don't have a lot of problems. Many people don't often uh, find find it to be problematic. And the reason that I love this mask is that it also has ceramides in it, which you all know, as I mentioned on here before, ceramides are the most abundant lipid in our, our skin, um, in the top layer of our skin. And as we age and develop dry skin or in people with a tendency towards dry skin, those can become a little deficient. Putting them on exogenously uh, can boost your body's um, production of, of your own. So I like that they put those in here. And that's really what natural moisturizing factor is, is that kind of lipid barrier of the skin in which ceramides are, are most predominant, okay? And in addition to aloe and ceramides, this also contains witch hazel, witch hazel, sorry, which is a plant derived astringent that is rich in things like tannins and has a, um, you know, is, is very anti-inflammatory. It's um, most notorious for being helpful and kind of just soothing the very, very inflammatory lesions of acne. Um, it's well tolerated, gentle, non a non-drying ingredient and is helpful to have in these kind of masks things and is fairly benign. So I like that it has that in it. It also has these mushroom extracts in it and I wrote the name of it down here. Fomies officinalis. It's, it's, that's a mushroom and these mushrooms have been used in you know traditional um, Chinese medicine, um, a variety of other European cu cultures. They're polyphores. And here, I wrote this down. They have a rich polysaccharides, which are like kind of branchy sugars that um, you know are a mix of sort of alpha and beta glucans. These are things that can, can be humectants, basically, glom onto water and, and make things um, kind of nice and goopy. So it has that in it. Um, and there are some lab studies on cells in a dish, not on actual people or actual human skin, showing that these, um, that they have anti-inflammatory properties, that they um, have anti-tumor properties. So I really like that, those things in it. Um, this product also contains swift lit nest extract. I did not know what that is. It is edible bird's nest. Apparently that is very popular or has been, you know, utilized in um, traditional medicine uh, for, for, you know, eons. Um, and what it is, is this little swiftlet is a little bird. And this is, um, it, it's salivary secretion, has a very, very high um, mucin glycoprotein content. It's really mucusy, okay? You can imagine how that would be useful when you're building a nest, um, to have a mucusy spit that you can put around the nest. I guess it kind of spits on the nest to hold it together. Uh, that's what I'm imagining. And um, people have been eating the nest, and, you know, ingesting it um, in, in these cultures for many years and it I suppose makes sense to put that in a mask like this because it's got a lot of this sticky glycoprotein stuff that can you know kind of hold on to water and, and really help moisturize the skin so all in all I really enjoy the natural moisturizing factor mask um, the one ingredient in it that I find I wish they didn't put in it and it's in all of these is fragrance um, but you know, using it a few nights a week, it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, unlikely to, to be problematic. I really like this one, and it's probably one of my favorites of theirs, um, and the one I find most useful for dry skin, inflammatory skin. Um, this will not break you out. Um, I don't think I can never predict that 100%. I think oily skin types would not find that this made you too shiny. Um, I enjoy it, um, and then after I take this mask off, I just cover. Um, you know, I kind of daub off the residua and I put a bland moisturizer on on top. And that is all that I do at nighttime. Um, okay, and I do that with all the masks. All right, moving right along, I'm gonna get into the PDF mask, which is a sweet little chick. Look how cute they are. And I like how it shows you where the chick should go. So you can kind of orient, because these, these masks, like which side is which should be confusing. Some people say it doesn't matter the side, I never know. Um, but the PDF, I'm not entirely clear what the PDF stands for. The AC dressing, I believe is acne control. This mask, the PDF one here, 
it's kind of targeting your more um, acne type concerns, oily skin, clogged pores. And it contains um, salicylic acid, which is present in you know the acne wash that I use every morning. And um, it also contains uh, Portuluca oleracea, <laughs> which is a succulent. But you know, succulents um, are uh, able to hold on to water really well. So you know, a lot of these plant-derived ingredients, I believe, are selected uh, for these masks by virtue of the fact that they really create a nice um, moisture-retaining uh, surface, if you will. Um, it also has pea extract in it. I looked throughout the medical literature and could not find what exactly that is supposed to do. If anything, there's really no data for that. I think. They just put it in there. And then it also has something called Centella Asiatica. I'm looking down at my notes here, which is also called, um, it's, it's also, its other names are Asiatic Pennywort and Gotu Cola. G O T U K O L A. I know I didn't pronounce that right. Gotu Cola. Gotu Cola. I wish I knew how to pronounce that. Um, this uh, plant is a, a perennial plant and it is rich in polyphenols which are antioxidants so I suppose it makes sense that they're trying to put it in there and according to them they've tested it you know on people and it doesn't appear to be problematic so um, I like this one as far as what I think it, it's good for the fact that it has salicylic acid if you're somebody who um, you know is, is uh, interested in trying if you're somebody with oily skin or acne prone skin I think this is a good one to, to pick. Um, the concentration of the salicylic acid in here, however, I, I don't know, it seems kind of nil. I didn't really detect an appreciable difference between this one and the natural moisturizing factor. You know, like if I were to go into this blind, I couldn't tell you the difference between any of them. They all feel exactly the same. I feel as though I look exactly the same after all of them. Um, but bear in mind, I'm somebody who uses a 2% salicylic acid face wash uh, Monday through Friday mornings. So I'm used to it and this may May just you know be small change in, 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 the, in the bucket for me um, hard to say but very easy to tolerate didn't bother me at all and I really liked it um, next up is the EGT mask here um, I believe what this is going for here I'm just gonna get another sip this one um, is um, with the sweet little bear here this one is, um, I believe, kind of going for boosting collagen and elastin production. This is kind of your anti-aging one here, this little frowny bear here. Like, we're getting serious now. Like, we're paying taxes, adulting. That's what that bear says right here. Um, E-G-T. Okay, so this product, in addition to having the aloe, which I said is moisturizing, it also has the um, succulent in it, the Porto Oleoracea, which can kind of bind up some moisture. So this is very, very hydrating, if anything. Um, the ingredients that this is touting to be uh, um, collagen boosting or elastin boosting are their signature peptides that they put in this, hexapeptide, um, oligopeptide. Putting peptides on the skin, I mean, that's not really going to get rid of wrinkles. I've got news for you. Um, it just doesn't work. That's not going to boost elastin. I don't, that's real. this is really just a marketing claim here. Um, the EGT Time Tox, excuse me, is what this one's called. And then it also has this Astaxanthin, which is, you know, kind of popular in a lot of these. But likewise, no data for that doing anything when applied to the skin, and honestly, unlikely. Um, if anything, I think if you saw an improvement in fine lines and wrinkles, it's not because this is boosting collagen or elastin or, you know, getting rid of the wrinkles. It's because it's so moisturizing that it's kind of filling in those crevices and giving you like a brightening, a more supple appearance, which is not a bad thing. I mean, everybody likes that. And I did notice that my skin was like plumper and, and more hydrated after I did this one. But after I did all of these masks, like this isn't really special, um, despite the like more serious front of the bear here. But I did really like it and um, I think it's a good one. Um, the IPI is the last one. It is the their light mask. I think it's on the website it said IPL, like intense pulse light, but this looks like IPI to me. I don't know. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it stands for, but this one is um, aimed toward brightening and dark spots. Um, and it has some ingredients in it that make sense for that. It's got 
pearl extract in it, so that's cool. Um, again, if you go on to the National Library of Science, you really can't find too much about putting pearl on the skin and in melasma and that kind of thing, but they're saying it works here, who knows? You know, dismiss it. I have noticed a brightening effect since ingesting pearl dust uh, through moon juice. I don't know if that's placebo, but. Anyways, putting it on the face, who knows? It also has um, some fruit extracts that are supposedly anti-inflammatory. Um, this, I was expecting them to put licorice root extract in this, because if anything, that seems like one that uh, we know can impart a brightening effect by virtue of its ability to inhibit some of the biology of how, um, of how uh, pigment is made, but it, it didn't, they didn't choose that one. They, they put aloe in it. I think if you're dealing with dark spots, uh, I wouldn't bank on this reversing them whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and to be honest, this didn't stand out as particularly special to me in terms of like a brightening effect. Um, so that's just kind of my um, gestalt of it. Oh, Camellia, Camellia senius leaf extract is green tea extract. Um, that's it. It got rich in antioxidants, but I mean, honestly, I don't know that doing this um, a few nights a week as you're sort of supposed to uh, is going to like really revolutionize the appearance of your skin as far as the dark spots look because there's really just nothing robust in here that's going to do that um it says they have oh it says there's a stable vitamin c in here and you guys know um as i mentioned on here before that vitamin c in the skin i mean vitamin c applied to the skin um while it can you know inhibit the pigment cell biology and definitely lead to skin brightening it's very unstable so maybe doing it in a mask form is the best way i don't know but i didn't see any brightening after this um so i don't know if it's maybe i should do it more who knows but it is easy to tolerate and i did like it all in all i really enjoy these masks i think they're their utility lies in their moisturizing abilities, um, more so with the robust ingredients from NMF. I think this is the best one. Um, and then PDF itself, silic acid, is, is a nice touch in a non-irritating kind of vehicle. Uh, for those of you who ha are more acne, acne concerned, EGT I think is more of a marketing, like not going to really do much for the wrinkles. And likewise, IP, IPI, IPL, I don't really think it's going to brighten you revel markedly, but, you know, um, comment below on what your experience with these masks have been. But overall, I really like them. I give them, I would say, a 7 out of 10. <laughs> uh, you know, strengths being their tolerability, um, non-irritancy, at least for me, and their moisturizing abilities. And weaknesses being that... Um, you know, you'd really have to do these like, in my opinion, every day in order to see any of the ingredients really doing anything. Um, and that's kind of just too much masking. <laughs> um, so I knock off some points for that. But overall, I really like these and I would recommend them. I think they're fun for like a slumber party or a birthday party or just hanging out um, with friends because uh, they've got these cute little faces on them. But I really liked them. And um, the kind folks at BB Cosmetics sent these to me. So thank you so much. I will list their information down below. Um, they um, are an online retailer of a variety of uh, Korean uh, skincare products um, that you can get from Korea um, without having to go necessarily through Amazon. I know a lot of you have verbalized concerns with like buying some of your skincare on Amazon. So I've really been happy with them. Um, and if you use my discount code below, you can get like 8% off. So um, check them out. But yeah, that's everything that I thought about that. So, But I'm just going to finish my black cherry tea here and get to crack a lacking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, share it with your friends. Comment below. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.